As promised, I am back today to talk a little bit more about my progress with my smart notebook. Um, if you joined me last week, um, I kind of jumped on here hoping that I could get some accountability partners online that could also um, team up with me to become more organized in the office or school or whatever it is that you do. And one tactic that I am using um, to get more organized is my smart notebook. So. I am here at the Gear Group. Um, this is a product that we sell at the Gear Group that is that can be branded with the company's logo or something. Um, but more importantly, I kind of want to see if it works and how it works and how I can use it in my daily routine um, to increase my organization. I am constantly dealing with employee meetings, um, team meetings that we have, um, and then client meetings, and I have a lot of internal marketing projects that are going on, so I segment my work into a lot of different um, categories, as most of you likely do, and I need a tool that's going to help me get a little bit uh, more organized with that. I use notebooks in the past, you know, just to um, try to write everything down, but then I end up with all of these, like, notebook files that I don't know what to do with anymore. So, this smart notebook, let me show you here, it's an Everlast rocket book, very thin. Um, has multiple pages in it that you can use and reuse and like I said in the first video that I did last week I'm just jumping in to try to figure out how to use it and if it'll fit into a process for me that will allow me to still keep all of my client notes and everything on my computer versus having all of these <laughs> notebook files that I don't know what to do with. So this week I have learned a little bit more so I haven't used it as much for client meetings um, but I have used it for some internal organization. Um, I actually have a marketing project going on where I'm working on a postcard. So to communicate those changes to the designer here, I would normally just um, kind of send her a message in what we use to um, communicate job progress internally, um, just kind of like our CRM. Anyway, uh, this time I chose to write out those changes in my smart notebook, and I did that. Let me see if I can find the page and show you kind of here. So I kind of made notes, and here's some of the changes that I need. And then again, at the bottom of the page, there's little icons that you can select to um, file your uh, to categorize your notes essentially. So this one happened to be for an internal project. So I selected my icon at the bottom that's so light, I'm sure you can't see it because I watched the last video when I showed them and you really can't see them. But this one happens to be the clover. So I've selected the clover at the bottom here and then I opened up my Rocketbook app and I scanned the page. So this shows you if you can see at all. Some of the pages that I've scanned in, you can see that they're tiny. Um, and I scanned this one in, and I have designated the clover to email to myself. So whenever I scan in a page where I've selected the clover, it emails to my carly at the gear group .com email. So I can receive that file via email. I also did set up my Slack last week, which is our internal communication um, instant messenger that we use back and forth and so I can send these files to slack as well Something really cool that I learned this week that I did not know that you could do last week is you can actually go into the settings Let me show you this here and go into the settings and there is a item called handwriting recognition If you select that there are a couple of custom options in there so you've got smart tiles, smart search, and email transcription. Yes, email transcription. Meaning that all of these changes that I made notes in my smart notebook and wrote with my friction pen, um, when I email them to myself, it also emails me a transcribed digital copy of what I hand wrote. So, um, let me see if I can find the email it sent me here so I can show you. So at the top of my page there, you'll see where it says page one. 
That is the email transcription. And then there's an attached file that is an actual visual copy of the page itself. What I did notice with that, which is really cool because I can copy and paste that and I can put that text right into a comment like in my, in my um, manage, project management software. But um, what I did notice is that it's not exact. Um, there's a couple of different um, things that I, you know, my handwriting isn't all that neat to be quite honest. So I would say if you're going to scan your pages in and you're hoping for the transcription to be very careful and neat with how you're writing so that it can kind of read that. But kind of a cool feature so you can get that transcribed. Um, something else that I learned is that if you do choose to have your smart book page sent to Slack, it will not send a transcribed um, copy along with that. That only happens when your destination for your scan page is email. So kind of interesting, but um, having a lot of fun using this and it is helping me, I do feel like to get myself a little more organized with how things are working. And I'm having kind of fun doing it. A um, couple other things that I learned. Um, I typically have pens kind of laying on my desk. Well, the only pen that really does work with this smart notebook is this friction pen. I did grab the wrong pen. And so now I was actually marking one of the icons at the bottom of my smart notebook with the wrong pen. It doesn't wipe off. So you can erase these pages to be reused with water on a microfiber cloth and then dry them off. If you slip and use the wrong pen, not so much. It doesn't work that great. So I have one page that will always be designated a diamond page. I will always have to use it for that because I marked it with a regular pen. Um, but otherwise, I mean, so far, far, I really like the fact, I like how it feels when I write on the page. I like how small the notebook is and how durable the pages are. It erases super easy. That is not, you know, it's not an issue at all. I, I like the way that that works so far. Um, the other thing that I wanted to share with you quick today that I learned is if you go into your settings and turn on that smart search, which is what I showed you in the app here, I didn't have this on initially, but get focused on that. The smart search, if you make sure that that's on, you can actually search your handwritten files in here. So right now it's not so much of an issue for me because I only have a handful of files in my in my uh, app here. But when I start getting a lot of files and I want to be able to search by meeting notes or that type of thing, um, client meeting notes, you know, customer meeting notes, that kind of thing, I am going to want to be able to have the search function work. If you don't have that on, you can't use the search function at all. I do have it on and I noticed that on my little, the files that I have uploaded or scanned in since I turned that function on, it has like the little search magnifying glass next to it. So that content is now searchable. I will continue to test to see if it actually, you know, how sensitive that is and how much it can read my handwriting to um, have the search functions work. But I think that's kind of kind of cool, too. So, um, so far, I would say overall that I would recommend using a smart notebook. I do think it's going to be good for me. I like the way that it's working so far, and I will log on again next week and kind of let you know what else I'm learning and how it's working. And if you are trying anything new with organization that you want to share, let me know. Or if you are interested in getting a smart notebook and, and sharing with me how you're using it. I know there's a lot of destinations, for example, um, that I'm not using, um, you know, at Google Drive and, and uh, there's an Evernote actually destination that you can send your files to and um, the cloud and that kind of Dropbox. So um, creatively, you know, thinking of other ways that people are, if you're, if you're putting them out to those different areas I'd like to know how that's working and what you, anybody finds out about that. Um, and something I'm also not doing that others might be doing is I'm not drawing pictures in mine. You can draw pictures in yours and use that. Um, you know, that might be something more geared towards school and or just a more visual job. I'm using mine strictly with text and handwriting. So I would love any information anybody finds out or has on that. But anyway, I will log on next week, let you know how it goes and uh, if my Everlast is going to be, it's going to last, I guess. So thanks for joining. See you next week.